So hi everyone. In today's lecture, we are going to see what is SSB modulation and demodulation, uh, how to implement it using the MATLAB. So before going to that SSB modulation and demodulation, so what is the drawback you are having with your DSBSC? So how you are going to overcome that one using your SSBSC modulation? Let us uh, see. Then we proceed uh, uh, with your SSB modulation. So in this lecture, what we are going to do is first we'll be explaining how to generate uh, the SSB SE modulation and demodulation waveforms uh, using uh, the phase discrimination method. And uh, later on, we'll go with the code explanation. Finally, we'll see how to execute the code using your MATLAB. Now, so what is the drawback we are having uh, with your SSB SE modulation means? Uh, so, sorry. Uh, DSBSC modulation means uh, it is having uh, two sidebands that is the upper sideband and lower sideband already the carrier is suppressed here. So these two sidebands are carrying the same information. It has same information but we don't require the same information to be transmitted uh, uh, from your modulation technique. So if you are transmitting the same information it will be received twice. So instead of that what we do is we are going to eliminate one of the sidebands. So if we eliminate one of the sidebands, the other sideband, which, whether it is upper or lower, which we transmit, it has the information what we uh, require. So what we are doing in your uh, uh, SSB assignments, uh, so the process, the process of suppressing one of the sidebands along with the carrier and transmitting a single sideband is called as single sideband suppressed carrier that means we are going to or uh, we are going to suppress already this carrier is suppressed in your dsbsc and we are going to suppress one of the sidebands that is a lower sideband or as the upper sideband so either you can transmit either lower sideband or upper sideband so now let us look into how uh, mathematically we can represent uh, the uh, uh, SSB upper sideband and SSB AC lower sideband. So now let us see here. So this S1 of T, S1 of T is equals to AC M of T cos 2 pi epsity minus AC M cap of T. This is M cap of T sine of 2 pi epsity. This uh, represents your upper sideband and S2 of T is equals to AC M of T cos 2 pi FCT plus AC M cap of T, M cap of T sine 2 pi FCT, sine 2 pi FCT. This represents your lower sideband. So this, uh, this if you are able to generate, then we can transmit either the upper sideband or a lower sideband. Now let us see how to generate this upper or lower sideband using phase discrimination method. So this is the diagram what we use for the phase discrimination method which contains which contains a product of two product modulators product modulator one and product modulator two and we give the input message signal am cos of two pi fmt and we are giving a carrier signal so when we give uh, a message signal and a carrier signal to your product modulator then we get an output we get an output AC M of T cos 2 pi FCT and here also we are shifting that M cap of T whatever we said uh, in the equation M cap of T that is nothing but AM sin 2 pi FMT. So we are doing a phase shift of 90 degrees using the Hilbert transform. So that we are giving as an input to the second product modulator and the carrier signal also we are doing a phase shift of 90 degrees that's why the AC sin 2 pi FCT we are getting. So what are the output you are going to get? What are the output we are going to get? That is AC M cap of T sin 2 pi FCT. So these two, when we give it to a summer, when we give it to a summer, if it is AC M of T cos 2 pi FCT minus AC M cap of T sin 2 pi FCT, then the output what we get, it is upper side band. And when we use a plus that means when we give it to a um, uh, summer then 
AC m of t cos 2 pi f c t plus AC m of t sin 2 pi f c t. That is what we are going to get. Uh, so this is nothing but your lower side band. So phase discrimination method in this, we are changing the phase of your message signal, message signal here to give it to the second product modulator. And we are going to change the phase uh, of your carrier, which we are giving it to your second product modulator. So these two, by adding, we get a lower side band. By subtracting, we get an upper side band. Now, how the demodulation takes place? So in the demodulation process, if you look into, so the modulated wave, whether it is an upper side band or lower side band, so S of T, what is that? Either it can be upper or lower, that is given to your product modulator. And we are going to give a carrier wave that is AC cos of 2 pi FCT as an input, which is in synchronous with your SSB wave. Then the output, whatever we get, that we are passing through your low pass filter to get back your demodulated signal output. So this is uh, how we are going to see the uh, demodulation process in your SSB SC. So now let us see how to implement the same uh, using your MATLAB. So coming to the code, so here as in my uh, generator, that is SSB modulation using phase discrimination method. So first we declare the parameters what we require. So as if as we have seen in the diagram that a message signal requires your FM and an amplitude of message signal and a carrier amplitude and a carrier frequency. And apart from that, to uh, mention the time vector, we require a sampling frequency. So the parameters, what we are going to declare here is the sampling frequency, which is used to define your uh, time vector. And we want the message signal frequency and we want a carrier signal frequency and amplitude of your message signal and amplitude of your carrier signals. So once the parameter declaration is completed, then we start generating all the you know, waveforms. So let us see how to generate the waveforms. So next step in the coding is like we are going to generate first what we require the input as your message signal. That is AM cos of uh, 2 pi uh, FMT. So this we are declaring as M1 is equals to AM cos 2 pi FMT. And that we are plotting here. The plot pi comma 1 comma 1. That means in the we are defining a matrix of uh, pi rows in that we are going to plot in the first position your message signal. That is message signal we are going to plot it here. So plot t comma m1 that is we are plotting your message signal. So next title it is the message signal we are going to define uh, sorry we are going to it will display uh, the message signal title. So we have the second message signal the same message signal we are going to shift by a phase of 90 degrees. So we are defining m2 is equals to am sine of 2 pi fmt. So as we have did a phase shift, this cos is going to change it as uh, sine 2 pi fmt, what we have shown in the equation as m cap of t. m cap of t is nothing but the Hilbert transform of the message signal m of t, where mathematically, as uh, we are writing here in the MATLAB, that is shifting by 90 degrees. So m2 is equals to am sine 2 pi fmt. So once here we are not going to plot the second message signal, that means the same signal we are shifting it by uh, 90 degrees. So only phase is shifted. So amplitude and uh, frequency will be same. So we are not going to plot the second message signal. If at all you want, we can also uh, plot the second message signal also. But now uh, as it is the same information, we are not plotting here. Next. Uh, uh, what we have is to generate your carrier signal. So carrier signal already we said AC cos of 2 pi FCT, which we are giving it to your product modulator 1. And the second one is AC sine 2 pi FCT, which is having a phase shift of 90 degrees. So we are declaring the carrier wave as C1 is equals to AC cos of 2 pi FCT and subplot pi comma 1 comma 2 
that means in the second position we are going to plot your carrier signal and plot uh, t comma c1 that means we are going to plot your carrier signal so carrier signal after plotting and uh, c2 that means the carrier signal what we are giving it your second product modulator c2 is equals to ac sin 2 pi epsilon which is having a phase shift of 90 degrees so generation of your carrier signal generation of your uh, message signal is completed now we need to uh, generate the upper sideband and lower sideband so for generating upper and lower sidebands what we are doing is first we'll see uh, the upper sideband so as we have seen earlier like uh, ac ac m of t into cos 2 pi fct minus ac m cap of t into sin 2 pi fct mm, that is uh, what we have defined as your upper sideband so s usb is equals to 0.5 is nothing but your scaling factor so m of t into c of t minus 0.5 into m2 into c2 so that is what uh, whatever the output you are going to get here it is nothing but uh, m1 into m1 into c1 and here what we are going to get is m2 into c2 so these two when we subtract one from the other that is nothing but it is going to give your uh, ssb sc upper side band so that we are uh, plotting in the third position so we are going to plot ssb sc upper side band in the third position plot t comma s usb so we are going to plot your uh, upper side band here now next uh, to get uh, your lower side band either one of these two is enough but as we are uh, uh, we want to show that any one can be transmitted. So here we are going to plot uh, in your MATLAB both upper sideband and lower sideband. So in similar way, if you look into your plotting of your upper and lower sidebands, so in the lower sideband, SLSB is equals to 0.5 into M1 into C1 plus, we are using plus, so 0.5 into M2 into C2. So what are the output we got from here and what are the output we got from here? that if you add then it will give your lower sideband as your output lower sideband as your output okay so that we are going to plot in the fourth position that is subplot 5 comma 1 comma 4 so the lower sideband we are going to plot it here and the plot t comma s lsb will plot your lower sideband now this is how uh, we are going to generate either the upper sideband or lower sideband. Now, coming to the demodulation process. So, what is demodulation process we said? So, it is uh, going to uh, give the actual message signal that is at your receiver side. So, for that, uh, the demodulation process, what we said, there is a product modulator for which either we are giving an upper sideband or lower sideband and a carrier and passing through your low pass filter to get back your demodulated output. So for that, uh, we are defining that we are doing the demodulation process of your uh, upper sideband. So upper sideband into your carrier, as we are giving it to a product modulator, that will give uh, you a demodulated output of your uh, information. So that we are going to plot in the fifth position, that is here, we are going to plot. So as we know that, S USB into C1, that is nothing but the output V1 of T. So this contains some unwanted signals or some noise. So when it is passed through a filter, now I am applying a filter, but was filter of order one, and which is having a cutoff normalized frequency of 0 0.0001. By applying this filter, that is we are getting MR is equals to filter. What is that? Butterworth filter B comma A comma r r is nothing but your demodulated uh, uh, signal so that when i am passing through your filter and plotting that mr which is passed through your filter we uh, get the demodulated output so this is how uh, we are going to uh, write the program in matlab using um, for the ssbsc 
modulation and demodulation. Now let us proceed uh, to run the program. So we'll run this code uh, using your MATLAB. Let us see how it will be. So here is the code, what I have explained that completely I have copied into one of the notepad. So this I am going to copy into the MATLAB. So here I am using MATLAB version uh, R2021A. So directly I'm pasting the program here. So once this process is completed, so I have defined all the variables and generation of your message signal, generation of your carrier signal, and upper sideband, lower sideband generation, and demodulation process. So this process, we are going to uh, run using this program MATLAB. So before going to that, we need to save the program. So I'm going to save the program here as experiment number four, experiment number five. So once the program is uh, saved, then press run, press the run button so that uh, the program, uh, you can see all the outputs, whatever uh, we have said. So here is the output, uh, what we have said. So first one is your message signal, what we have plotted. Next is your carrier signal. And the third one, what we have is your upper side band. And fourth one, we have your lower side band. And finally, we have a demodulated output. So the upper side band will have the frequency of FC plus FM. So that's why it has a high frequency and lower side band has a frequency of FC minus FM. So it has a low frequency.